Hello everyone and welcome to today's vlog. I am sitting in the car um, waiting to go into a store because Magnolia fell asleep. So we're just gonna sit here for a little bit while she takes a little nap and chit chat because I have been wanting to talk with you guys about something that has just been really, really heavy on my heart and just wanted to talk to you guys about it. Um, so for those of you that have been watching us for a while, you know that my aunt recently passed away and she, she passed away of Alzheimer's. One of my like most fond memories I have of her is like when she would sing. She sang all the time and she played piano. So anytime you came into the house, you know, you could hear her playing the piano and singing and it was just, I just loved it. It was so great. Recently, I just like remembered a song that she wrote and I was just reading through the lyrics because I've always really, really liked that song that she wrote because um, she used to write music and just play all the time. It just, reading over the lyrics really like, it just kind of, I don't know how to say it. It just like really like affected me. I don't, I really don't know what to say about it other than it affected me a lot in that I wanted to read you guys a few of the lyrics because the song is called A Mommy Always. She wrote this song and it's just kind of everything that I've been thinking lately. And it's crazy to think that she wrote this in like probably the 90s. I think my, so my uncle said that this video was from 1999 and she was singing it at a Mother's Day um, like luncheon for the church. It's just crazy to think that you know, we think we're busy now. Um, well, we are really, we are really, really busy now. We have, we always have our phones with us, always on our phones. We have everything at our fingertips with our, on our phones. Even back then in the, the 90s, you know, before they had smartphones, and I don't even know if she had a cell phone at that time. She probably did. But definitely not how we have cell phones now. To think that she was feeling these feelings, um, the same thing that I'm feeling now, back then. Whew, goodness. The song starts out, um, I'm just gonna read you some of the lyrics. Lord, here I am once again with all the busyness in my life. Don't we know it? So many things pressing in, when will I ever find the time? I don't know why it's so emotional for me. I just, I love Magnolia so much. And I don't want anything to get in the way of me being there when she needs me. And I don't want to miss out on any of her life because of the device that we I mean it's almost like a necessity now like we use it for everything I've thought about going back to a dumb phone <laughs> but I mean it is I do use it for things like I need to find directions or something but Really, that's the only other reason why I really need it is for directions to some place. So, I'm thinking of trying to find a way to like, not disable my phone, but put a timer on how much I can be on it or something, how much I can use certain apps. Anyway, oh gosh. Okay, so anyways, the rest of the, some of the more the lyrics. Um, don't want to miss her childhood days. Lord, make me take the time to play 
to hold her close, a warm embrace, to see her smile and watch her silly ways. And then the chorus, which really is really special because I've always known that I wanted to be a mom and that that's just, I really feel like that's what God made me to be, is to be a mom. And so the chorus is, oh Jesus, I'm crying out to you. I need for you to teach me your ways so I may be what you've called me to be, a mommy always. And I really do, I just wanna do the best that I can. I wanna be there for her always. And um, not always be on my device. And I think I'm pretty good, like I'm really not on it that much, but there's always room for improvement. I wanna do everything I can to bring her up to love the Lord. Anyway. I don't know why that was so emotional, but we are going to have a fun day. Um, whenever I'm feeling um, emotional like this or I just I need to pick me up, I like to go to the Christian bookstore. <laughs> you can't see it because I'm like in the front row of the parking, but um, the Christian bookstore just makes me feel good. There's usually just a really good vibe and there's all sorts of things, inspiration, and just... It just makes me feel good. So we're gonna be going in there as soon as she, I'm gonna let her sleep for just a little bit. But we have something really, really exciting that we're doing later today. So definitely stick around. It's gonna be a lot happier than this part, but definitely stick around um, to see our special surprise. I am so excited for this. I've been waiting to be able to do something like this forever and I'm just so excited that we can finally do this with Magnolia so stick around to see if you want to know what it is but definitely follow us on Instagram or Facebook if you are not already because we will most likely post a picture of her doing what she's gonna be doing later follow us there if you want a sneak peek into into what we do before the video comes out today Magnolia is taking her first swim class are you so excited, Blue Blue? Yay. Are you so excited? Yeah, I'm just so excited. To get a little bit of food <clears throat> in and it's leaking everywhere. Uh oh, leaky leaks. Guys, we're so excited about Magnolia's first swim lessons where you're gonna dump her in on the deep end and it's gonna be so much fun. We're not doing that. That's not happening. But it is super, super cold outside, so I hope this pool is super, super heated. Well, she actually had a post surgery appointment with her doctors this past week and he gave her the a-okay to go in the pool. We just put a waterproof bandage over her hernia, but everything else looks great. Yeah, looks so good, huh? Looks so good. We might show you guys what it looks like now. The first day it looked kind of oof. Well, the first few days it looked gross, but it's definitely healing up and looking good. Yeah. And a couple of you in the comments were like, why didn't you show us what it looked like and stuff like that. So we did not do that because we know a lot of people out there can't handle like seeing that type of stuff. Um, so now that it's all healed up and it just looks like a simple scar, we'll probably show you. Maybe not this vlog, but soon. Look who's here. Who's here? Huh? Who's here? Grandma and Grandpa came to see you swim. You see your granny. Yeah. You see your granny. I yeah, see you kicking bad. them legs. Are you good swimming? I yeah. see you kicking them legs. Yeah. <laughs> hey, baby girl, do you like your outfit? Do you like your swimsuit? Oh, it's so cute. <laughs>
vlogs all over the place. Kaylin just told me that she vlogged something that was very emotional for her and I will see it when I edit it. So, sorry if this vlog is all over the place for you. We have something very fun to show you today. Why not? Because it's weird. We have something really fun to do with Magnolia. We have something really fun to do with Magnolia. How about that? Can I do that? Yeah. What you eating on? So I'm eating one of those little pinwheels you got me. Yeah, I bought you a pinwheel and you like it, huh? That's good. So we were at Hobby Lobby the other day and I was looking at things because I want to decorate her high chair now that she's using it a lot um, for like holidays and stuff. I was going to do Christmas, but I didn't. So we're going to do Valentine's. We might as well. Guys, what if we just like decorated a Christmas tree for Valentine's Day? that's still over there and maybe decorate her Christmas tree in her bedroom that's still up for Valentine's Day. No, it needs to come down. It needs to come down. I at least took the decorations off of it. But when I was a kid, my mom used to decorate my Christmas tree for every single holiday. So why not? Huh? No. It's coming down. We took the decorate or I took the decorations off. We just need to finish. But um okay. We got her these because they're cute and whenever she eats in the morning, she sits right here and she likes to look out the window, huh? And would you like to have some little clings to look at on the window? Would you like that? I think you would. You ready to put them on? 